and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time Pro Bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. I still remember a scouting report that a former Giants GM had on Eli Manning coming out of Mississippi. He simply said he has it. And we always talk about the it factor, which means they're going to play large in big moments, in key situations, and Eli Manning has always had that. Manning now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. time with Johnson and he'll get this up to the 34 yard line a 14 yard first down pickup for the Jaguars that O line they cleared a big hole there on that run the athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve and we're seeing it here not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels you know get to linebacker spot the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. they will try to continue that trend here this afternoon. This one complete, it's C.J. Fedorowicz. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down there. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll be down deep in Houston territory. A gain of 39 that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how insane was the quarterback in the center on that play? They saw the blitz made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Now let's go! Green, 39! Green, 39! On second down, there's the option going left. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. Now let's go! From the gun, here's Sevian. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So the opening drive for him here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. 
your stadium, your crowd. You've got the ball. Put points on the board first and let everyone start to celebrate. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And on the return, here comes Adam Jones. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So we hit the quarter break in round one of the AFC playoffs as they take over here first and ten. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Manning the throw on second down. Sammy Coates has it complete. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. down carry by Bell and no room that time getting it to about the 46 credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine well if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there they sold out to stop that running play I'd say keep that in mind they want to try that again go play action hit them over the top Second down, here's Manning, looking deep downfield. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Manning on third down. And incomplete here on third down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you got to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Here's Marquette King now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. All right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. Three, now a play fake here on first down. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Dominic Easley. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the 8. He lost two there, and it's third down. All right, partner, let's go back over the last couple of plays. Sack, loss of yards on a running play. Not exactly the sequence that an offensive coordinator gets comfortable with when calling plays. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They go to Johnson again, and they'll bring him down right around the 13. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Jones on the return. 
He'll be hard pressed to match that one. That a 65 yard. Guys, tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. He finds Coach complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. Throwing on first down is Manning. <laughs> Caught by Gates, left side. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. <laughs> on second down, it's Bell. And he'll go down at the 28. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On first and ten, here's Manning. The left side completion to Jones. And he takes it down to the ten-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Now Bell. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are in for six. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Man, this is up and good to make it 7-3. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Let's go! Blue landed! Blue landed! On second down, here's Simeon. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And Antonio Brown yet to get back on his feet. Apparently shaking up that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Green 39! Green 39! On first down, Simeon. Underneath for Johnson. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here we go now. Green, 39. To throw on second is Simeon. And yeah, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Here we go. 
Simeon on first down. Dumping it off for Johnson. Showed the nice footwork and then hit and dropped shy of the 45. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Again, Simeon. And he's got it over the middle for Dorowitz. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Jaguar football here. We welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first down, it's Simeon. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Dominic Easley in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. They'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Call it a pickup of seven. And that's going to make it third down and ten. He'll look to throw. And finding Fedorowicz. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Back to throw. And Samuel caught left side. And brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 12 more yards there and another first down. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Mario Williams in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very low. Here's the backup, Jacoby Brissett. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive, but bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. They